Mall walk it. Mall walk it. Hips and elbows. Hips and elbows. Make those windsuit pants go swish swish. Lace up those Reeboks. Better yet, those SAS shoes. <laughs> hips and elbows. Hips and elbows. I'm a perfect. Hey y'all, it's week 12, which means, I don't know what it means. It means we're doing more training. <laughs> it means we're running, shocker. Actually, we're not running yet. We are headstrong into a taper. So tonight we will be doing a walking of this two mile loop and then some resistance bands, foam rolling, just overall taking it easy on these sweet little legs of ours because we need them to behave and carry us 13.1 miles in under 237. Hi. So tonight we walked, but we're also going to be using resistance bands and rolling and trying our darndest to get our legs ready for Here goes nothing. Makes the go by faster. suck as if one of these snaps. <laughs> How'd you get that uh, eye <laughs> shot out? Well, funny story. <laughs> what does that mean if my heels are nearly touching and I can do that? Whoop whoop! I'm loose! <laughs> the calves are loose. <laughs> Getting my hammies! Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> Hurts so good! <laughs> now I need the Kelly Clarkson my piriformis. I lied, that's the one I hate the most. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the foam rolling not hurt. <laughs> in a most delightful way. <laughs> One. Hey y'all, it's Thursday and I'm not running. No, part of it is you probably can hear. I have a sinus infection on top of the bum knee and oh wait, a half marathon to run on Sunday. So rather than run, I thought I would bring you along on my packing journey. Uh so the first thing you want to get out of the way, basics, what you're wearing for your race. The next thing, it kind of goes with clothes, is you want to make sure that you've got your good pair of running socks. I have these from Features that I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to retire 
after this race because I have worn them to where there is not much padding left. But these are my Old Faithfuls. And if you have a pair of Old Faithful socks, you totally get it. So make sure you've got your clothes and your socks. And then what goes with socks? Better than running shoes. Don't forget these. I think you'd be surprised at how many people will get all their stuff together and then realize, man, I didn't pack my shoes. So um, make sure you get your shoes. One little tip that I have that I will be using for this is grab a um, grocery bag and put your running shoes in the grocery bag so that while your shoes are in your bag, if they're dirty like mine are, they're not gonna get the rest of your things dirty. And then you can just pop them right back in here after your race and they still won't get your, uh, your clothes dirty. So that's my tip. Put your shoes in a plastic bag. That way it preserves everything else in your bag. All right, let's talk about race day gear. Okay, so for gear, you of course you want to have your headphones. So I've got my aftershocks here. And along with this, if you're doing any sort of wireless, you wanna make sure that you have your charging cords because wouldn't that stink? You get to the race, you turn your headphones on and then it tells you low battery. Or my aftershocks have a little girl in them that says, please plug me in, to which I'll say, okay. Uh, but the battery life on these is really good. So another reason why I highly recommend these is the battery life. So you've got your headphones, you've got your charger cords. You also want to make sure that you have your watch or whatever you're going to be using to track how far you've gone, what time it is, play your music through any of your tracking apps along with your watch. If you're going to carry it, you want to make sure that you have your phone because you need a phone. You can also see it's 10 o'clock at night. Um, you need your phone to run, at least I do, run my Strava app my, um, or Map My Run, any of those things. So make sure that you've got your phone, your travel cords, your charger cords, and yes. What are you gonna put all this stuff in while you're running? Well, you're gonna put it in a pack like this. Now, mine is quite large because I also run with the gimbal, which is how I get video for all you fine people. So don't think that you have to have something this large. You absolutely don't. This is just the size that works for me because I do carry my camera and my gimbal. But I do like it because it has um, the one, it has two pockets for your water bottles. One of them I use for a water bottle. The other one I use to help anchor the gimbal in as I'm running. Um, has a nice big pocket here on the inside. We've got another smaller pocket on the outside, which is where I'll put my nutrition. And then a nice drawstring here to keep everything nice and tight and not jumbled around. Um, this I believe I got at Dick's Sporting Goods. It is available online. The brand is Quest. Um, it did come with two water bottles, but I prefer my own. So. Make sure that if you're gonna carry all this stuff, you have a pack that will handle it all. And in my case, it's like a carry-on piece of luggage. Now you've run your race and you're done and your feet hurt, so what should you do? The thing I like to do is take my shoes off and slip on a pair of recovery sandals. A lot of you like the Ufus brand of sandals or slides, and I don't love them. I think to each his own. These are the ones that I prefer. Um, these are just a pair of Birkenstock sandals. And I'll tell you why I like these. Because my insoles in my running shoes are Birkenstock insoles. And so what my foot is used to being in almost all the time is the same as what's in the um, the midfoot of this shoe. So when I put this on, I'm still getting the arch support that I need, um, especially after running and your arches are tired and sore. This is good because it's nice and supportive. So when you see me walking around Disney in January in toe socks and these babies, don't laugh. Just um, be jealous of my incredible fashion sense. <laughs>
Okay. Okay, so the last thing that I wanna share with you is my race day bag. And this is a bag that I got at Target mm, two summers ago. Um, obviously it's Mickey Mouse, so I had to get it. Um, but in this bag is all of the essentials that someone might need the morning of a race and then immediately after. Now, this would be something good that if you are a person that checks a bag for a race, like you go to the race, check your bag, and then pick it up when the race is done, this would be a great thing to have with you. Um, I don't ever, I've never checked a bag, I've never felt a need to, but even, either way, this would be something good. It's got good stuff in it that you use either before the race or after the race. So let's dig in and see what's in here. Okay, first thing I've got in here is my KT tape. And I do tape my feet every time I run any distance over five miles. So my KT tape is in there. Body glide, that is a given that you need body glide for, well, everywhere. A pack of safety pins because you never know, especially if you're running in a costume. If you need extra ones, say you lost the ones that came with your bib during packet pickup. And let's be honest, the stress of needing safety pins and not having them is a real thing. So avoid that entirely by just having some with you. So this is my little secret on how to not have race day poops. <laughs> Take an Imodium the night before. Not the two that it recommends, just take one. Um, but that'll, that'll save you from um, some embarrassment if that's a problem for you. And I guess now that I've mentioned it, you all know it might be a pro was a problem for me. Okay, in that same vein, I have here some Cottonelle, um, just some of those wet wipes that you can use. I know I've had this happen where you go to a porta potty, there's no toilet paper. Well, guess what? You've got some in your, um, got some in your pack. Bobby pins never can have too many of these. In fact, I forgot I had bought these, so I'm glad I went through this because I wondered where these went. Um, no, you always need, you could always need bobby pins, especially if you're um, somebody that runs with their hair down a lot, which I do, um, and you want to pin at least some of it up. Um, or you're gonna run with a fancy top, not like mine, you need to pin some of it back. Okay, now, these were in a, in a box, but uh, I decided against the box because I ran out of room. But Band-Aids, tons and tons of Band-Aids of all different shapes and sizes. Um, after a race, you may have yourself a new family of blisters and you need some Band-Aids. So there you go, an assortment of Band-Aids. Here's an extra Cottonelle wipe. Vaseline, you probably could use some Vaseline if you have those blisters or if you feel um, somewhere in your, um, on your feet that you're getting close to getting a blister or chafing, Vaseline will help immensely. And it's a small enough to, uh, bottle of it. Is that a bottle? What would you call that? A tub? It's a small enough tub. It doesn't take up much space. Hand sanitizer. Uh, you've just been in a porta potty. Not only was there no toilet paper, but there is no place to wash your hands. You've got some hand sanitizer here. Now I packed two of these because you never know how much you might need, but this is just aloe vera gel and it's in one of the travel or two of the travel sized containers that you get for flying like the TSA approved. Um, because I know after uh, the Princess Half Marathon, I was sunburned. And if you've had a sunburn, you know the sooner you can get some aloe vera on it, the better it feels. So having some with you and available to you at the end of a race would be invaluable and save you some hurt later on. All right, we have reached the end of, there's just some extra Band-Aids down here. We've reached the bottom of the race pack. See, oh, missed some. All that fit in this little, in this little um, bag. So that's honestly the biggest tip I have is to get a race pack like this. Um, it doesn't have to be in a fancy 
you know, cool Mickey Mouse bag, but something that can hold some of your race essentials so that once you're done with the race, you have them available to you in this nice, um, nice bag. So, all right, that's all I've got for you today. I'm gonna start putting this stuff in the bag so I can get ready to leave in the morning. Again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.